Why does the institutional church have so many obvious hypocrites and sinners? The nature of people is one reason. It's just hard to be perfect. One can know how to play soccer and how to do arithmetic, but that does not make a perfect athlete nor a perfect mathematician. The same is true for being a perfect Christian. So why doesn't the experience of going to church make a person perfect? Life and faith are made of a series of experiences. That means that people in a church will be at different places in their journey of life and faith. There may even be people who are on the wrong path altogether. The organizational church asks individuals to be sharing, helpful, and tolerant. But at any time, the congregation or staff of any particular church may fail in these things. We often accept this kind of behavior in individuals. However, we hold the institutional church to a higher standard. That makes failures against the standards so much more spectacular and disappointing. The standards come from the structure of the system. In a participative system, the standard is set by the community. In a hierarchical system, the person or persons in charge sets the standard. Further, Christians are to accept the outcast and believe in repentance and renewal. On the other hand, there is also a need to reject what is evil. However, the line between expelling an unrepentant sinner and persecuting a person for making an unpopular stand is often subjective. Paraphrasing Robert Owen from the 1800s, all the world is strange, save thee and me, and even thou art a little strange. The institutional church is intended to be a community for support and worship. There are a lot of things that can get in the way of that vision. Personal fellowship is as important as the people we choose to associate with in school, at work, or in the neighborhood. The failure to find a group that feels like the voluntary association we make elsewhere is often a source of discontent with the institutional church. Failures and inconsistencies in people and staff are easily attributed to bad motives if you don't feel an association with those people. In other words, they make that bad decision because they are bad people and not because that decision was all that was available at the time. So, should hypocrisy be accepted in the church? No. Is there a way to tell hypocrisy from a difference of opinion or life experience? That is a good question that does not always have a good answer. God's universe is both simple and complicated. Somehow, it is important to strive to both identify and understand things that we might see as hypocrisy. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you.